Good afternoon and welcome to the live lunch tour. Today I'll be taking you past a few of the works in the exhibition Rineke Dijkstra and Ode. My name is Fabienne Chiang and I'm a trainee curator at the Stedelijk Museum. Rineke Dijkstra came to Amsterdam originally uh, to follow her studies at the Rietveld Academy, after which she settled here. And um, in the 90s she was really popular for her uh, beach photographs, or the bathers as they are also known, uh, for which she took several photographs of children at the beach in both Europe and the United States. Behind me we can see uh, Odessa, Ukraine, August 9th, 1993, and it is one of the lesser known portraits. But Dijkstra's de uh, eye for detail is really apparent in this photograph, as you can see from the dusty joggers to the sunburnt cheeks of the little boys. In her work, Dijkstra uses a large format camera to capture her subjects, and it's one of those really traditional static cameras. And what happens is that Dijkstra first takes a photograph with a Polaroid, and when she's happy with the composition, she will go on to actually taking the real photograph. Um, this is an example of those photos. It's part of the series The Buzz Club, which was taken in Liverpool. For the series, uh, Dijkstra took both photographs and video footage of uh, young club goers, and we will go see the video in a bit. It's made up of footage from The Buzz Club in Liverpool and Mystery World in Zandam, which is a little uh, town just outside of Amsterdam. It's interesting to see how these young people are fully aware that they're being captured on camera, and yet there's a sort of hesitation in their body language and something like some awkwardness, as you can see in this portrait here. So let's go take a look at the video. Uh, you'll be really interested to look in, at the way in which these young individuals portray themselves and the way in which they dress and dance.
So this is one of uh, Dag Slaz's more recent works. It's from 2014, and it is titled Mariana and Sasha, King Yusef, Russia, November 2nd, 2014. It's a portrait of the young ballerina Mariana and her sister Sasha. In the accompanying video, which we'll go see in a second, um, we can see a young ballerina practicing for an audition at the prestigious Raganova School of Ballet in St. Petersburg, Russia. In the background, we'll be able to hear an instructor who is incessantly critiquing her. And while it's just incredible how this young girl really has such drive and precision in her movements, we can tell that something is not right with a fairy tale as can be seen in her really worn slippers and her really ruffled hair. So let's go have a look at it. The concentration in which Mariana practices her routine is also apparent in another video on show, Ruth Drawing Picasso. In the video, we can see a young school, draw, school girl drawing away as she's part of a field trip to the Tate Modern. We as viewers aren't able to see what she's drawing, instead we are looking at Ruth, who seems to be lost in concentration and fully unaware of the camera. Dijkstra's video turns the experience of looking at art back at the viewer, creating a sort of meta-commentary on a museum visit. My personal favorite in the exhibition is the series Olivier, which was uh, shot between 2000 and 2003. In the series, Dijkstra follows the young soldier uh, Olivier Silver from his first day at the, milit at the French Foreign Legion. Um, and as we can see behind me, these, both, these photos were taken on the same day. It was his first day. And uh, on the photo to my right, we can see that he's a wide-eyed 17-year-old boy who's really got a sort of innocent look on his face. And on the photo to my left, he's already had a drastic change, as we can see by his haircut, by his clothes, and he's just standing a bit more upright. So Dijkstra would follow Olivier at his time at the Foreign Legion over the next four years, and we can just see a development in the way he presents himself and his uh, uniform and all those things. 
And coming to the last picture, we can see that the innocence of a 17-year-old boy has been lost and he's turned into a really tough looking soldier. So the show will be on till August 6th and I hope you will all be able to make it. It's definitely worth coming to see the uh, exhibition. And if there's any other questions, I'll be happy to answer them now. I have a question. Um, do, did Winnie the Bags follow also other people during a certain lifetime period or was it just the early days? So I, I just got a question about whether Dijkstra also took uh, other series that are similar to this one I'm standing in front of right now. And there's actually another series, which is uh, Almeriza. Uh, Dijkstra followed a Bosnian uh, refugee girl who came to the Netherlands. And um, the, sh the series will actually, actually be on show later this year as part of the exhibition, I Am a Native Foreigner. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for tuning in today, and I hope you enjoyed a glimpse of the exhibition. Have a nice day. <laughs>